Aloha from Oahu. Keith and I are here at Pokai Bay and it's September, no, it's December 9th and it's 4.39 in the afternoon and it's 79 degrees outside and we're going to do our Faith Food Devotions with Kennedy Hagen. And today's is called Crowned with Glory. And our scripture verse is Psalm 8, 3 through 6 in the Amplified. When I view and consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained and established, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of earthborn man that you care for him yet you have made him but a little lower than god or heavenly beings and you have crowned him with glory and honor you made him to have dominion over all the works of your hands so uh, Kenneth Hagin goes on to say, God did not create man for death. Death, sin, sickness, hatred, revenge, and all such tragedies reflect conditions on earth that had no place in the original plan of the creator. Man was created instead for joy, happiness, and peace. Man was designed for eternal fellowship with God. He was created in God's very image and likeness. Genesis 1, 26 and 27. He was created for joy, happiness, and peace. And he was created to give God pleasure. Revelations 4, 11. God gave man a place in his creation second only to himself. With dominion as far-reaching as the universe itself, Psalm 8, 3 through 6, Genesis 1, 26 through 28, Adam was the master of himself, of creation, and of Satan. Adam did not have to yield to sin. He had a choice. Okay, I have a confession to say today. And I'll say it once, and then I'll say it again. So you can say it out loud with me if you want to. I will do what I was designed to do. I will do what I was designed to do. I will fellowship with God. I will fellowship with God. I will give him pleasure. I will give him pleasure. The Bible says that without faith, the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is impossible to please God. Hebrews 11.6 So I will walk in faith. I will walk in faith. I will not be dominated by sin. I will not be dominated by sin, sickness, fear, and doubt, or anything else that is of the devil. Sickness, fear, and doubt, or anything else that is of the devil. I choose to walk with God. I choose to walk with God. You know, it's just so exciting to study the Bible and what it says about how Jesus made us the righteousness of God. And 24 seven forever, when God looks at you and me, if we're born again Christians, if we're his children, he sees us holy and blameless and pure and clean. And we can have a clear conscience before him. And he says, now I want you to love people like I've loved you. I, I loved you when you were just and when you were unjust. And he says, I show blessings, love and mercy to the just and the unjust. So just like he looks at us and sees us holy and pure, we need to love people with a pure and holy love. And you know what? It's the kindness of God that draws men into repentance. So be kind, be full of love, be thankful, 
that God made you his righteousness and reconciled you to himself through Jesus Christ, through his sacrifice, through his blood. Jesus is the door. Go get lots of people by the hand, love on them, and take them to the door, Jesus Christ, so they too can be reconciled to the Father and be in the family of God. God bless you. Have a beautiful Saturday. Aloha.